Hello, my name is Donna Savigny. I am an actuary and I have two children attending Sandy Mount School. My husband and I moved to Finksburg more than a decade ago because it was the perfect location for raising a family and having a reasonable commute to our jobs. I am extremely concerned that closing Sandy Mount is a mistake for the entire county since it is a gateway community and our best hope for future growth according to the county's own demographic projections. I have four key points to make today. First, Commissioner Rothschild recently put forth six criteria for identifying appropriate schools for closure. Close analysis shows that Sandy Mount does not meet any of these criteria. In fact, closing Sandy Mount seriously violates two of the criteria since Finksburg would be left with no school whatsoever, fracturing our community and sending our kids in five different directions much further away from our homes. Finksburg is one of the few designated growth areas in Carroll County's master plan. Why would you close the only school in a town that has expected population growth into 2024? Secondly, the BAC indicates 7.25 million annual operating savings from closing five schools with no consideration given to offsets. The following are some preliminary estimates that I've made for these offsets based on school closure case studies and available public data. An increase in transportation costs of 1.9 million, one-time expenses and residual operating costs of 875,000, reduction in tax revenue of 3.2 million per year due to decrease in property values. Note that Finksburg provides more than 11% of the county's total tax revenue at 21 million in 2015, the third highest in the, in the county, and has median home prices at 369,000, more than 20% higher than the rest of the county. Finksburg is a desirable location specifically because of the school. These offsets would reduce the net operating savings to only 1.3 million annually from the five schools. Closing Sandy Mount specifically may actually cost the county three times more than its individual operating savings. Therefore, annual savings are actually optimized by not closing Sandy Mount. Thirdly, the 2017 capital budget request includes $7.6 million for kindergarten additions. These should be removed from the budget since it makes no sense to spend money to increase capacity and then close schools, especially when the requests are for schools under 100% utilization. Finally, the BAC indicates $46 million of capital cost avoidance from closing five schools. These numbers are inflated by routine maintenance and preventive measures such as roofs and HVAC systems. So the recommendation closes four schools that are in good working order to save $23 million of routine maintenance costs and does nothing to address the more than $200 million of capital needs for four end-of-life schools, namely East Middle, West Middle, the Career and Tech Center, and William Winchester. That's not only inequitable, it's not fiscal responsible. Alternate options must focus on minimizing capital expenditures for these four end-of-life schools. In closing, I urge you to make the rational economic decision not to close Sandy Mount. It makes no headway on solving our financial issues. It may actually make things worse for the county by shutting the door on growth in our gateway community and having Excuse the unintended Excuse consequence me. of lowering total tax revenues to the county. Thank you. Thank you.